Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today I am bringing you into our production center of biofuel, and that is going to be our electric composter. We are going to talk about the tier four electric composter and its tier three predecessor, the biofuel composter, and see how they stack up to each other and whether one of these upgrades is worth all the cost involved into doing an electric composter. So let's talk about the first thing that comes to everyone's mind. What is it going to cost for me to build this thing from scratch? So let's go into our tech tree here. It's a tier four material. Electric composter. So right here off the bat, you can see it's going to cost us 20 electronics and 100 concrete and 60 steel. That's a lot. Then you got 20 electronics on top of that. So any crafting bench or anything that requires composites in general means you're going to have to pay 162 electronics to get to that bench so that you can process composites. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's talk about cost of tier four. So first of all, you are going to need a fabricator. This is your 30 electronics and 30 concrete mix. Then you need to have power because you need to power these machines. So you're going to need a biofuel generator. That's another 12 electronics. So we're at 32 electronics. You're also going to need a tool, but we'll leave the cost of that out because it's pretty minor. Going over, we're going to need the material processor because that's how we're going to make our composite paste. That's 60 electronics. So we're up to 102. And then we've got the electric furnace so we can cook said paste. Another 80 concrete plus another 60 electronics. So that brings us up to, for our math whizzes out there, and it's 162. Good job, everybody. 162 electronics and 110 concrete mix to get us started for anything that requires composites. Now, mind you, these two machines require 5,000 output for the two of them. That's one generator. If you want to run all of them at the same time or even just have them plugged in, you're going to need two. But we're going to just assume one generator with all these costs. To keep it minimal, right? So now, <clears throat> excuse me, whew, had a breath. Now, with that 162 base, then we come back over here. Another 20, so it's 182 all day, plus another 60 electronics, ah, another 100 concrete, and then your 20 composite. So 100 concrete is a lot of concrete, plus 60 steel is not insignificant either. So quite the cost involved. Now, is it worth that cost? And when would this be viable? Now, let's start with the regular one. So let's come over here. We're going to go to our biofuel composter. Let's look at the cost of that real quick, just so uh, for all of our friends and family out there that don't know. Um, to get us going, you're going to need to get your machining bench, which is, you know, it's minimal stuff. It's iron and then more iron and then a little bit of concrete and iron epoxy. So it's really minimal to get this thing going. <clears throat> more iron, a little, little copper and more concrete. Very minimal stuff. You can get this stuff really fast in the game. One cable get you all this then you'll just need a little bit a couple nodes of silica so pretty cheap stuff now let's talk about speed so once i put this in you're going to need to have some sort of resource here so you know it uses 10 at a time to fill this up 10 fiber and one tree sap and then it uses 100 tree sap so everything you see here times 100 is how much of that one resource it's going to require in order to fill up a can so you can see here that's 200 meat which is ridiculous i don't know why that's even an option uh, 500 sticks, 500 cooked meat again. Why? Um, 100 wood or 1,000 fiber, which is usually my personal choice because it's everywhere. You grab a sickle, a bone sickle, and you can just go ham with it. So, and then I save my wood to make sticks so I can make more tree sap and other things up for the end game. But let's talk about speed here. So as soon as I drop this bad boy in here, we're going to see this thing go, and I'm gonna, we're going to count down and see how long it takes for one tick of fuel to go in. One, two, three four five roughly five seconds okay you know minus minus a tenth of a second or so I, I felt like i was pretty spot on there so that's how long that's gonna take now and for a can it's roughly eight and a half minutes in this composter here right so now if we come over here so same thing you know we're hooked up to power so let and it won't be for long because it's already four o'clock so we better get going here so let's drop our can in here and see what our speed is. One. 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 So one second. So it's five times faster. So if it's eight and a half minutes, right? So, okay, come on. Basic math, people. Eight and a half minutes, you know, that's 60 seconds in a minute times eight 
is 480 seconds plus another 30 seconds is 510 seconds and then that divided by wait what am i doing i'm doing the regular math so it's it's 510 seconds plus plus 30 so it's 540 540 is eight and a half minutes right divide that by five because it's only taking a second at a time 108 110 100 108 seconds so we're talking just over a minute and a half so it's quite a substantial time save right like that's actually really good like in this time i've been running my suck here i'm almost at half a can and coming over here we're not even gonna be close to a quarter of a can or, or we're just at a quarter of a can so that was from when i put it into there and now this one even with talking and getting it in uh it's already at half a half a can so it's really fast so honestly um yeah i would say this is actually worth it because you know you're gonna use biofuel throughout the entire game right uh you know you're gonna have a a, a metal oxide dissolver which is biofuel you'll have biofuel generators which is biofuel because at nighttime you can't use solar panels better turn my light on it's getting dark because of the storm you can't use solar panels at night and there's no batteries to save power so you're always going to be using a generator so you always have biofuel so yeah yeah that is actually worth it this is one of the few tier four benches where i'm like yeah this is actually pretty pretty worthwhile now it'll take you a while to get here that's a lot of you got to get composites which means you need a lot of materials to get this far into tier four so it's not very viable for most in-game missions but if you're there in tier four and you have to be at that composite level for said mission then yeah it's absolutely worth it to throw one of these bad boys down spend a little bit of extra materials get this thing down and get your biofuel ramped up so yeah good time save overall a good item for sure um i hope to see more with it like maybe reduced costs um like more optimized like fueling like it shouldn't like something as optimized as this probably shouldn't take as much material so like i'd like to see something like that happen but otherwise a great item uh, honestly it is a great item it, it's a little expensive in the grand scheme of things i think if they took the composite requirements out of this it would be a phenomenal item but it might be a little cheap so maybe get rid of the composites and add another uh make and make it 50 electronics for it i don't know i'd probably pay that in all honesty maybe 40 40 electronics i'd pay get rid of the composites make it 40 electronics and add some other nonsense in there make it a little expensive and i think you'll be good all day but let me know in the comments down below what you think of the electronic composter versus the biofuel over there and if you're new here make sure you hit that like button and do hit subscribe as well because we still got two more benches to talk about we're going to talk about the electric masonry bench and the metal oxide dissolver. So if you want to see videos on those and you want to be make sure you get those alerts, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can get back to that sweet shabby content. And we've already talked about the electric carpentry bench and the chemistry bench. So make sure to go check out the old videos so you can go look those up if you haven't seen them already. But all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. I'm going to sign off and get through. I'm going to weather through this storm here. But all right. As usual, this has been Shabby Doo and I hope the rest of your day is... Not too shabby.